Hi everybody, welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Today I'm going to talk about the knee positions in the golf swing, okay? Why is this so important is because I have a lot of golfers telling me they get knee injuries, hip injuries, you know, or ankles problem. It's just because that sometimes we, don't, we are not allowing the knees to move smoothly and correctly. So today I'm going to try to focus on that and just a small little things and hopefully those will be able to help you to actually um, rotate better, get the club in a better position, swing on the right path, hit the ball a bit more solid and of course prevent injuries. As you can see I've taped my um, legs over here and my knees as well. It's not a current fashion, it's just for visual, okay? So I'm going to start off with talking about the setup. The setup is super important is because it does affect the swing of affect our weight transfer as well so first of all let's look from the front a lot of people tend to set up with the toes facing forward okay the toes facing forward and look when I bend my knees my knees will start to bend inwards so if you have a toes too far forward sometimes it, it will it will cause you to sway on the way back all right or sometimes reverse pivot because this right leg is, is very hard to rotate the right hip back so we ended up straightening the right knee and then it does affect a lot of part of our golf swing so i'm going to show you the correct way to set up i prefer for golfers to have their toes a bit flat out okay how much is the left foot will be a little bit more than the right foot i would say technically about 30 degrees open with the left maybe 15 degrees on the right but it depends on your flexibility and what feels comfortable so with the toes flat out, you can see that my knees, when I bend forward, it kind of points forward. It does help you to rotate easier and weight transfer better as well. So when we know how much the toes have to flare out, let's, look, let's talk about the setup. So from this angle, well, sometimes when I'm coaching or teaching other students, I will tell them, okay, you need to bend the knees a little bit more or straighten the legs a little bit more. So if you're practicing by yourself, you just gotta measure, or you can look in yourself in the mirror at home. We want our armpit, our knees, and the middle of your foot in one line, okay? So technically it has to be in one line. Okay, so the armpit, the knees, and the middle of your feet, it has to be in one line, all right? And the butt line has to be just about a club face, a club face behind your right heel, okay? So this, I would say this will be the ideal setup position. Now I'm going to talk about the backswing, okay? The knee position in the backswing. So we're going to look from this angle first. When you start your backswing, the right knee is going to straighten a little bit and the left knee is going to increase its flex, right? It's going to increase its flex a little bit. So to this position about half swing, right? My hip is starting to turn, the right knee kind of straightens a bit and then the left knee starts to move forward inwards okay inwards and downwards when i get to the top of the backswing where my hip is somewhat about 45 degree the right right leg is supposed to be lengthened my right knee is not locked okay but it's still slightly flexed but it's the right leg is pretty much lengthened already and then the left knee again will increase more flex and it's going to move forward and downwards from the front view so assume you set up correctly when i get to about waist height position over here the left knee is starting to increase its flex. It's going to start moving inwards and downwards, okay, to this position. And then when I get to the top of the backswing, when it's about 45 degree, the knee is supposed to be somewhat on the inside of my left foot, okay? And it's going to be, again, moving inwards and downwards and the right leg a bit more extended. So this will be the good position for the backswing, okay? The knee position for the backswing. All right, now I'm gonna show you the problems or some, uh, some common mistakes that I see in golfers with the backswing, the knee position in the backswing. I see some golfers tend to sway on the way back, okay? One reason is because when you set up with both knees straight as well, sometimes you will not be able to, you know, rotate the hip because we need the knees to be flat so it'll be easier to move, right? So if some of us stand with both legs straight, you ended up swaying. Okay, like your backswing, you're moving away from the target. Okay, or I see some golfers know that they need to rotate. They need to get the left knee forward. They ended up having this reverse pivot move where the left knee is leaning, going forward, but towards like this way. Like your weight ended up with the left side. 
and then it create across the line. Then it gets the club across the line. Okay, or you ended up with a reverse pivot and then hitting it behind on the way down. All right, so if the left knee is moving this way, it's incorrect too. The other one is, as I have mentioned, you straighten the right knee too early. Sometimes we think that we are rotating our hip, but we're actually just straightening it. There's no rotation at all. Again, from this view, we want to rotate the hip, but we ended up just straightening the right leg. We are not rotating at all, okay? The right knee needs to stay flexed, okay? Because if it's straightened like this, it's very hard to rebound, like really hard to get the right knee coming. And we end up having the right hip higher than the left hip. Then we start hitting it over the top on the downswing. So now we're gonna talk about how to fix the problem. As I mentioned earlier, some of us tend to sway away from the target on the backswing, okay? When we move our hips away, the right, the both knees will start moving away from the target. So I would like for you to imagine there's a wall or a stick outside your right, outside your left foot or your lead foot. So from um, this position, I want you to feel like you're gonna move your butt cheek towards the wall or towards the stick that you can just imagine there's something over here. This is only for people that are swaying, yeah? If you're swaying, your knees and your hips, you're gonna make sure you feel this. You're gonna feel a lot of your butt cheek pointing towards the wall or, or the stick. That will prevent you from swaying. So if you're doing this and you feel this, you most probably get to a pretty good position on the way back. The other problem is, again, left knee moving too far forward. The weight is on the left side. This is a really dangerous position as well because it would be very hard to transfer your weight. You end up hitting it behind or having it too shallow because your club might be across the line and then coming down a bit too shallow or early extension. Okay, so how to fix that? Set up. Assume that you're going to hit the ball. Keep your head centered. I would like for you to push the left hip forward okay so you're gonna feel like there's more weight on the left side and the left hip is a lot higher than the right hip it's gonna feel a little bit awkward but you're gonna to try to do this of course the head might tilt back a little bit that's fine okay just just, just a drill so if you do that and then you take your back swing it's gonna be easier for you to get the weight towards the inner right thigh and give you a better rotation instead of doing this because if you have your left hip forward it kind of blocks you and give you a chance to actually rotate the hip on the way back okay if you're doing if you're doing this, and then you push this forward, if you're doing this, and then you push your hip forward, it's easier to do this. It might get you a bit flat. Because if I have my left knee going forward, it might end up really steep. So again, from this angle, push the left hip forward, it'll give you a better turn and a better weight transfer. Okay, the other one, the last problem I mentioned is straightening the right knee, okay? Pushing the right knee back. So if you push your right knee back, I'll just like you to feel like you're rotating the hip, pulling the right hip back, okay? Instead of turning the left hip forward, you want to pull the right hip back. Okay, just really simple drill, you know? Just when you take your swing, when you start your back swing, you just gotta feel like the right hip is going back, okay? Just pulling it back. Just really simple, okay? So that's the problem that I, call, I see in golfers and also the way to fix it, okay, for your back swing. Now we're gonna talk about the downswing. It happens super fast. So if you're gonna do, if you're gonna work on any drills that I mentioned, you're gonna make sure you do it slow. But I'm gonna start off with, telling, with showing you how it should look like. So assume you have a really good position at the top of the backswing. Right leg, again, it's not straightened. It's lengthened, but it's not locked, okay? It still remains a little, a little flexed. So from the top of the backswing, the right knee will increase flex, it will increase flex and it will start kicking downwards, inwards and then we're going to start turning our hip and then at the end my left knee will be straightened, okay? So from this view, again assuming you're pretty good at the top of the backswing, okay? The right knee is going to increase flex, it's going to move down, inwards and then my right knee will my sorry and then my left knee will start to straighten and the left hip will start moving backwards okay so it's gonna go like this okay like this all right at the end gonna make sure the left knee is straight i see a lot of golfers keeping the left knee a bit bent all right so you're just gonna make sure when you want your hip to be fully turned the left knee has to be straight okay, from this angle if you want your hip to be fully turned turn towards the target the left knee has to stay straight if i keep it bent 
it's really hard to turn through. All right. So again, it's super important that you set up correctly with the left toe point out because sometimes if you have your toes pointing forward and you can't rotate, sometimes you get some sort of knee injury and then you have to, you know, it's very hard to push through and then we end up with a chicken wing like that. Okay. So you just got to make sure you point the toes out and let, let your body actually swing through and straighten the left knee. Now I'm going to show you the common mistakes the golfers do with the knees in the downswing. So the first one is what I call early extension, okay? It's what we call early extension. It's very common where you see golfers having their right knee moving forward on the downswing. Sometimes because the swing, sometimes if we're coming down really steep, we will try to shallow the path and then we push our left, right knee. We're gonna push our right knee forward, okay? Early extension. The right knee is supposed to be moving more towards the target, you know, a bit inwards and then towards the target, but it doesn't go forward like that. Okay, the other one is the left knee where we spin our hips so fast and then the left knee move away from the target. Okay, that happens with a lot of golfers that swing the club outside in, okay, or over the top, right? So from this angle, over the top, the left knee will move away from the target, all right? And then the last problem will be spinning the right foot. Okay, you see, we all know that, okay, the right, the right knee has to go towards the target, right? We all know that. So some golfers will just do this on a downswing. They end up just spinning the right foot outwards like that, and then the knee will point inwards, but actually that's, that's not correct, okay? Technically, there's no weight transfer. If you just spin like that, there's no weight transfer. So this is three common mistakes I see in some golfers. Of course, um, we see a lot of golfers doing different stuff with the knee, but this is something that I see pretty common in golfers again. So now I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Number one, the problem that I see in golfers, early extension, okay? So really simple drill. There's so many drills that you can work on with early extension, but a really simple one is just having your right, keep, get a club and step, step on the face of the club and keep the club under your right heel. Early extension, if you do an early extension move, the club will drop, okay? So I would like for you to just do some drills by trying to swing through by keeping the right heel down, okay? Keeping the right heel down when you swing through. Just exaggerate it, but of course, after you swing through, it's still gonna drop, okay? That will just help you with early extension move, okay? For the early extension drill, I can just get my wedge and just put it under my right heel. Okay, I'm gonna step on the face, okay? And just gonna try to hit some balls with it. Keeping the right heel down, stepping on the club. It's just gonna feel like that, okay, to prevent that early extension move. Just hit some half swings, you know, just try to get a feel about how the right heel stays down as long as possible. That will help you with the early extension and getting the right knee moving inwards a little bit instead of forward, all right? Okay, so with golfers that have their knee, left knee or the lead knee moving away from the target, the drill that I'd like you to work on, the, the drill that I'd like for you to work on is, you can imagine there's a wall on the outside of your left foot or your lead foot or a stick, okay? So you're gonna feel like your hip is gonna point, face the wall as fast as possible. It's gonna push towards the wall, okay? Or push towards the stick, all right? That will straighten the left knee and also getting the weight transfer to the left side instead of doing this, all right? Or you can also feel like your belly button is gonna point towards the sky as fast as possible. So when I have my hips pointing forward, my chest is actually a little bit behind. Okay, so this is the position that we want to get to. We do not want the upper body to go towards the wall as well, right? This actually won't really straighten the left knee. So if you straighten your left knee correctly, if you stay back, it's going to be easier to straighten the left knee. Then the, la the last drill, I like for you to get a water bottle. I like to use the water bottle a lot. So with people that are spinning the right foot, okay? Or having the, the knees, just trying to get the knees pointing this way, okay? The other drill is what you can do, put a bottle outside your right, right foot, behind like your right heel, okay, outside your right heel. So you can also hit some balls with it. So if I'm gonna spin my right heel, you see, I'll knock the bottle down. So if I'm gonna put the bottle outside my right heel, I'm gonna hit some balls, trying to avoid 
spinning my 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 right knee is trying to get, get the knee moving a bit this way okay it's going to move a bit it's going to start turning increasing the flex and turning inwards a little bit instead of going that way right so you can hit some balls like that or you can also put the other one is you can put the ball you can put the bottle inside your right heel and try to push the bottle down on the downswing okay this will also get you a feel for not spinning the right right heel back not spinning the right foot and getting the knee inwards this, 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 this motion, this action, also happens if you have your right toe pointing too far forward. So if my right toe is pointing forward on my downswing, I will have to do this. But if you have your right toe pointing out a little bit, it kind of gives you a bit of this feel instead of turning this way. It just makes it a bit difficult. But I would still suggest that just make sure you set up correctly. It actually solves a lot of problems. Alright guys, that's all I have for knee position. I know that's a lot, but actually it does happen naturally. Just gotta make sure you know what to work on. Alright, just I always say just make sure you know your mistakes because before you work on the drills, alright? Our main goal to work on the knee position because a lot of golfers get knee injuries. So we're just gonna make sure our knee is moving freely, moving smooth, so you will prevent injury in the long run. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys think that somebody will need this video, please share it. Thank you, and I'll see you guys again soon.